Okay, we have breaking news out of China, folks. It appears some resealed boxes and cases of 2021-2022 Panini Flawless Basketball have been opened by a group breaker named Beijing Love Cards. In the last couple days, Beijing Love Cards opened a case of 2021-2022 Flawless Basketball on the Hobby Stocks app. Think of it like a Fanatics Live or a whatnot for China. Well, some savvy collectors noticed that some of the cards that came out of the boxes had already been listed for sale and sold months earlier on a popular Chinese sports card app called Card Hobby. I actually met the owners of this app at the 2018 National in Cleveland and were very impressed with them, as you can see. So here's the situation. This Josh Christopher card was sold on the Card Hobby app on July 4th, but somehow on August 15th, it came out of a box from Beijing Love Cards. Here is the clip. You can clearly see this is the exact same card. Another card in the same case was this Brooke Lopez patch autograph card that sold on July 1st. Here it is coming out of a box again on August 15th. One thing you will notice when Beijing Love Cards opened the boxes was there was no plastic seam that was visible like I've seen on some other boxes of 2021, 2022, Panini Flawless Basketball. I'll show some images so you can see what I mean. To their credit, Beijing Love Cards has come out with an extensive response to this. It is in Chinese, so there is some translation involved and some gaps there. But from what I can gather, Beijing Love Cards says they believe the case was tampered with. They have refunded the buyers in the break. They purchased the case originally from DA Card World and provided a receipt. The box was purchased from DA Cardworld, sent to a warehouse in Springfield, Missouri, who then shipped the box to the breakers in China. Beijing Love Cards provided photos of them checking in the boxes to their warehouse. One thing BLC noticed after it was discovered the case may have been tampered with, BLC says it appears the spacing on the letters on the outside of the box, they're a little off, and they provided a picture of that, so I'll provide that. DA Card World through BLC has been made aware of the issue, and they are looking into it according to the breakers. BLC says they will no longer work with DA Card World until further notice. DA Card World will purchase cases through random third parties. Here is their current buy offer for a case of 2021-2022 Panini Flawless Basketball. So this is actually a huge, massive problem. I'm probably understating what a huge problem this actually is because it definitely seems like there are fake cases and boxes that can be produced in a very short period of time. These cards were sold about a month and a half ago and they end up back in a case in a resale box sold by presumably DA Cardworld. Big shout out, and I'm going to butcher his name here, Long Xiao Lu, a.k.a. Lucas, a.k.a. LYS.Cards0532 on Instagram. I'll post the link in the description to his Instagram. He alerted me of this situation. He was able to translate some of the Chinese for me and provide the videos from the Hobby Stocks app. So much appreciated, Lucas. Please give him a follow on Instagram. Posted his link in the description. I also posted some links so some other content creators or breakers if you kind of want to look into this. This is a pretty big deal. This is a pretty bad situation. If we have resealed boxes and cases of flawless floating around, that is a five alarm fire and very, very, very bad news for this hobby. So I wanted to make you aware of that. And we will see you tomorrow on our live stream right here on Sports Card Radio to talk about it all and anything else going on in the hobby. See you later. James Harden's rookie cards look like an absolute steal right now.